Hello all, hope you all are good. Previous video we have prepared on conveyor and its properties and different parameters into the conveyor modeling in Flexim. And now we are looking about mass flow conveyor. So we are today going to understand the details for mass flow conveyor. So you can see this, I have created a model for mass flow conveyor and here I have created a complete setup for it and then this goes to one of the buffer. So we will be understanding all the details related to mass flow conveyor. You can see that there is no source for this conveyor but still we have the parts or entities moving onto this. So this is the mass flow conveyor. So without wasting any time further, let's begin in understanding mass flow conveyor. Hey guys, welcome to the channel IF 4.0. This is Ajay. So in the previous video of conveyors, we have understood how to do a modeling for the conveyor. So it's nothing but what we need to do is we need to just drag this conveyor and keep it in the modeling area and then we can increase the width of it we can increase the length of it and then we can bring those near to near and then we have this connection that is conveyor transfer being created so we will not create the modeling of this conveyor and this curved conveyor can be created in such a way that here if you see for the start point i have created a datum of 1 and for the end I have created a datum of 4 meters. That's the reason this has been lifted up and then this has been lifted. So its start point will be 4 and the end point will be 4.7. So it's again further lifted I hit for a smaller distance. This is how we do the modeling for curved conveyors. So it's nothing but you need to drag this thing here. Once you paste it here, what you need to do is you need to drag this by clicking on this cross with your left mouse button so now we will begin understanding the properties for the mass flow conveyor the statistics it's same label same the conveyor properties are also same as for the basic conveyor but the basic principle or the basic fenda which differentiates the mass flow conveyor and the conveyor is the conveyor basic conveyor has the flowing entities will be the flow items so every unit would be a discrete unit which will be flowing on the conveyor that is this one, this as a basic conveyor but for the mass flow conveyor the every entity is not a discrete entity but it is a just visualization it is not so you cannot do analysis at detail level that is discrete unit level but you can do detailed analysis based on mass flow rate so the basic principle used for the mass flow conveyor is flow like principle flow like principle in the sense it works on density so what we will do is in this mass flow conveyor this mass flow conveyor is basically used to create a simulation model for high speed products or high volume products such as bottling lines tin lines can lines so those types of cigarette lines where we have high amount of volume moving on a conveyor or high speed of of products moving on the conveyor there we are going to use mass flow conveyor because we cannot create lakhs of parts on the conveyor or thousands of parts can on the conveyor moving on this because it is infeasible so we at that case we need to use mass flow conveyor because it is ultimately infeasible to run thousand or one lakh parts moving on this conveyor so fluid like principle what does it mean which has been used for mass flow conveyor it's just like water flowing from the pipe so when the pipe is bigger the water will be flowing higher when we reduce the pipe diameter the water will start getting accumulated in the bigger pipe and the flow rate will be reduced on this smaller pipe so this is the fluid principle which is used in flexing simulation for mass flow conveyors and then 
if you look at this, uh, there are different features, additional features we have for mass flow conveyor that is into its behavior. So you also have speeds which you can specify in meter per second. Then we have generative rate that is 100. Now this generative rate is basically if you see here we haven't connected a source but in our previous video for conveyors we connected this conveyor with the source. The advantage for the mass flow conveyor is there is no need for source. You can directly put your generative rate here. Now this is 100 units per your model time units. My model is in minutes therefore I will have 100 parts flowing per minute on this conveyor. So basically this is the flow rate which will be flowing on this conveyor. And then we have this upstream output order. So this is basically used for making, uh, so it is used for the downstream conveyors. So these two downstream conveyors are connected to the single upstream conveyor. So if this uh, upstream output order matches with this output order, the part will be moving onto those conveyor. But if I make this as two, then the part will not move flow on this conveyor, but the part will only move on this conveyor. So this is how it would look like. So you can see the part is not moving on this another conveyor, but all the parts are moving only on this conveyor. So if I make this again one, where you can see this is one, this is one, and this is one. So when I make this reset run, these bottles or the units will be flowing on both the conveyors and then they will be taken ahead. Now, if we look at this third property, which is known as excess, there we are having two tabs in that. One is accumulate and another is track as a loss. So what does it mean? Accumulate is if the flow rate for this conveyor is very low. So I, if you see if this pipe is very small and this pipe is very big and if the parts do not are not able to be uh, entering into this pipe then what will happen is the accumulation will start if you have selected this accumulate. If you click on this track as loss what does it mean is the leakage will be considered as track as loss. So what does it mean if you want to show that the part should accumulate behind if the flow rate of the downstream conveyor is not high then you need to click on the accumulate but if you want to consider it as loss like for example 100 bottles are flowing and the flow rate is only 10 whatever rest of the bottles will rather than accumulating will start falling down this is considered as track as a loss. If you want to create that type of modeling where you will be considering that as a loss as your bottles will fall off the conveyor then you need to click on the track as loss. This is the property as access which you can use in mass flow conveyor. Then when you right click on this you have conveyor system properties. It, these properties are again the same as we had it for conveyors and then we have the triggers here on reset on message for this conveyor. Now, I would like to give you one more glimpse where if you connect this conveyor rather than the conveyor transfer but with the exit and entry transfer. So, I will show you. So, this is exit and entry transfer. You can see there is a change in exit and entry transfer for mass flow conveyor because we are having additional feature here that is units per package and what would be your flow item. That would be the box as your packaging item and here if you see it would be the flow unit and units per item will be 100. So this is the new change which you will see in mass flow conveyor and you will not see in the basic conveyor. So here what does this mean? This is the exit transfer. This means that one box will be formed by 12 bottles or 12 units. And what does this mean is that a single box will be converted into 100 units. Just run and show you how it looks like. You getting me? This is what is the visualization also. 12 will be converted into one box and one box will be converted into 100 bottles. So this is how it looks like. Your buffer has been filled. Now it has started filling backwards this is how the model will look like 
and this is all about mass flow conveyors let me know if you have any queries for mass flow put that down into the comment section please do like share and subscribe to the channel for learning more about simulation and add it as your skill in your resume but thanks for watching till end we'll meet in another video which we'll be preparing on decision point station photo and motors so till then take care bye bye have a nice day